Hello, I'm Eva Kanko, the photographer from Finland, and uh, in here Darmstadt, my works from the Unplein Air series are exhibited in the garden of the old castle. I started over 10 years ago. I was uh, studying in Madrid and I was walking this uh, Camino de Santiago. And uh, when I came home, I wanted to continue the walking. In, in Spain, I was um, picturing the old cities and combining those together, like layers by layers. And then I combined the walking and the layering technique in, in Finland. Uh, I still continue. The first series was called Path. Uh, I didn't walk every day, but I walked during different seasons during the years. And uh, I, in my head, the circle road starts from my home and I continue and I go back to home door. And I, I take specific places and I make pictures as far as I see the horizon. And then I combine all those together. So they form like a kind of essence of the time and the place in, in one, compressing the time. And uh, during the different seasons, all the colors and the changing of the nature affects the atmosphere. In my head, the seasons are, are making circles as well and uh, continuing it like forever, like a spiral. Now with the One Plain Air series, I do the same walking and everything is the same except the uh, layering technique. Before it was uh, opacity, like layers on top of each other, like transparent layers. And now I pick up different parts of one picture, so it's like digital collage. So I just uh, like click and collect the parts, like select layers and then copy them. I have like 90, 90 photos of one, one walk and then I choose the parts that I want to show. And then those parts, they form the picture. While I'm shooting the photos, I use different kind of masks in front of the camera, like a different color papers or something to add, add color to the final image. And uh, you can see the results here in these pictures. And for me, the colors represent like my feelings towards the, the nature and towards the, the world around me. And I'm really interested in uh, cognition about, um, about the outer world and the inner world, how they affect each other, how I feel and how it affects the view and uh, how it might change the view that I see and experience. Like, for example, if I'm really angry, I can see everything is more like saturated or like not as when I'm like calm and, and happy, then everything is more smooth and the colors are more like more maybe relaxed. And... A lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things inspire me. Uh, actually, in the, in the beginning, I wanted to be a painter, but then it was so hard to get in in the art school, but um, I had been like photographing ever since I was a kid because of my father who was photographing a lot. And then it, it felt like really easy for me. And so I get into the art school and uh, studying photography. This more like more like painting stuff this was coming like affecting to my work. When I was studying uh, this impressionism and uh, like Monet and Turner, I, I saw that there was something like the, the images are, there is like time, time is involved and, um, and the nature and uh, like the atmosphere and the feelings of the artist and expressions. For me, they look like uh, somehow like photographs, like what camera could do. And I think uh, like photography was invented around that time. So it has, has been affecting like impressionist painters. I was uh, like looking the Monet, uh, Monet paintings from the Rouen Cathedral, the uh, Haystacks. And he has the same subject, like, and he's painting it in different light over and over again. And then you can, when you put them all together, you can see how the like light is changing and how the place looks different in different light. And that was the starting point point for me. Well, the early impressionist painters like Tor Turner and Monet. And uh, now with this Unplein Air series, uh, the Cezanne and like post impressionist But then also in the photography field, Hiroshi Shukimoto, because the, the, like, the movie theater series that he, he took with the passage of time. And then um, Finnish photographer Nicole Luoma. And there is one um, 
I think he's from Germany, German uh, painter David Snell. I think they are the most uh, <laughs> influencing to my work. Uh, I would like to do public art, like um, this on plein air service. I think it would be amazing to have it uh, on a huge glass windows or plexiglass where the light shines through and then it ref reflects the lights on the ground also. I think uh, that would be amazing. Uh, this is the first time that they are exhibited in public. Yeah, and, and the place is just amazing. I think the, the garden area, it really suits on the background and the, like around the works and I'm waiting to see them in different uh, seasons. I think this is open until October. So um, uh, maybe there will be more blooming and different colors on the leaves. I'm waiting to see all the pieces, how they look. This is the first time I'm uh, participating in a festival. I'm just uh, looking around and hoping to meet the other artists as well, uh, besides the small, small group that we have here. And I have already seen some of the exhibitions and 